Hey guys, today I am going to talk about raffles, and you might remember Anthony a long time ago loves the idea of raffles. In fact, he is probably the first gray market watch dealer to come up with this idea, and he did it uh, to get uh, subscriptions, right, to get subscribers, right, for his YouTube channel, and he did it for consignment. Now, if you guys remember, he had a raffle for a Rolex, and the way that you would enter, and he actually did multiple of these raffles, was that, and now those video has been deleted, by the way. So raffles may be illegal depending on the state. State law is pretty critical, gambling and federal law as well. Gambling is highly, highly regulated, and God forbid you have one minor purchase a ticket and not win, and then they self-report. Yes, this is probably one of the things that people don't realize is going on is the raffle thing is a big deal. Um, gambling is highly, highly regulated in the U.S. And I know that Anthony was kind of the first one to come up with this idea. So the initial idea was um, he had like a watch and everyone puts in some money. And then he met the winner in New York to give the watch. It was like, win the right to buy this watch for a dollar. Obviously, he made a lot of money from it. He met the guy in New York. We weren't really sure how he selected it. During some of these raffles, um, it seemed very sus, right? Because the numbers and the list, I mean, there was a lot of crazy things. In fact, I'm going on Reddit now, and I'm going to type in raffle, and hopefully it will pick up. So CRMs, they have started to do that as well with the raffles, right? But before CRM did the raffle, um, this guy did raffles. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Anthony Farrar. Hey, everyone. Sorry for the delay in doing the Rolex giveaway drawing for the no-date Submariner sub 11-40-60. The drawing will be held tomorrow, Wednesday, when I am back at the office. And we'll do it at 12 p.m. PST, live on my YouTube channel which is almost what CRM is doing. So let me click here. That's a that's a good save. So thank you, Reddit, posted by some individual. I cannot read. Uh, missing Z, raffle winner, Lamborghini key. <laughs> yes. Uh, Anthony almost certainly breaking sweep stake laws. Um, maybe, maybe not. Uh, we'll go into that later. Coach, where's the blanking raffle? How many people here have been scammed by Anthony Farrar? Uh, Fragile Simpleton, Anthony Farrar responds. Watts Dealer University Review. <laughs> um, so yeah, so he, he's been doing raffles. And you know one thing that you don't want to see is a delay in the raffle, right? So I've been out sick with food poisoning. Um, if you led a test mysterious illness. Genius marketing. Let's take a look at genius marketing if that has more raffles. But I do remember he did a bunch of them. Uh, I, I do remember he did a bunch of them. Anthony Farrar goes dark amid consignment raffle scam. Yeah, and they were consignments. Uh, flights were canceled for two days. He will do it tomorrow. Diet raffle starts tomorrow. Yeah, one of the things that you don't want to see is you don't want to see the raffle be delayed, right? That kind of indicates that something is weird and something is not correct. Where's the blanking raffle? Let's click on that. He's in the New York ringing the bell for IPO. Dying raffle starts tomorrow. He's busy doing charity work. Coach didn't get enough liquidity to pay for the watches. He can't afford to take the 10KL. Yeah, so... Um, Oh, Saul Jimmy at Grand Caliber was talking about their Rolex giveaway on the last video. He mentioned there's lots of rules and regulations, etc. you have to follow with these things. Something about registering in New York and Florida and making certain disclosures. And the other part about a raffle, and this should be said pretty clearly, is that you don't actually know what state that the people are buying from. So you might you might be under the state of there might be a random dude watching CRM Jewelers or Anthony and there's the state of Montana and they decide to join a raffle and that's your undoing. But New York has very in Florida seem to have very strict gambling laws, right? 
Uh, wonder if the brains of the TPG operation had seen this and realized he's done none of these things, so he had to pull it when it pushed it past him. Where is the house in Ta Lake Tahoe? Yeah. Anthony certainly breaking sweepstake laws. U.S. law is very strict about contests. This is uh, by throwaway account on Reddit. Even the wording using to describe the contest can get you in trouble. Anthony's recent post has a text overlay that says Rolex giveaway. Even calling it a giveaway can be legally suspect. Uh, giveaways usually do not involve chance. What Anthony is actually running is a sweepstakes. Sweepstakes require terms and conditions along among them a purchase usually not being necessary to enter. That's a raffle. California consumer protection laws are unflinchingly rigid and rather merciless. And other states are even more strict. Rhode Island and New York especially when the price value is more than $600, which a sub is definitely is. To actually run a nationwide sweepstake, you need terms and conditions, restrictions on who is qualified to enter, U.S. residents 18 years or older, for example, and even specific licenses in certain states. Now, CRM is doing this in like a different country, I think. Like maybe they're using um, somebody in a different country. But at the end of the day, I think it's kind of interesting that these great market dealers are now... <laughs> Whatever you say about Anthony, he was a trendsetter, right? He did these raffles long, long before CRM Jewelers is doing raffles. Uh, here's other, it doesn't matter. The whole thing is a hoax anyway. Do you really think he's going to give away a Rolex? It's going to be 100% staged. I doubt whether he generally given anything away. <laughs> His dignity. Uh, he didn't give that away. He was well paid for it true his tugs aren't free i doubt if his company has a rolex or if it's all consignments i believe he will since the giveaway is a folex what's law and legal coach doesn't know these words he is not a sheep so i think um it's just not worth the trouble i mean especially on youtube i've mentioned this before in the crm thing um you know, it's just not worth the trouble to do it because not only could you legally be in a bind once they investigate, um, also, like, you're just creating a bunch of negativity for your channel as all, not everyone can win. In fact, you're going to get a way more losers than winners, right? And some of those losers are going to be sore losers. That's just human nature, okay? If somebody were to buy 20 tickets and, and that's a lot of money for them and they don't win... Uh, they're going to feel bad. It's, it's the same at the casino. That's why casinos have bodyguards and security. And that's why uh, poker rooms, there's always security 24-7. Because a fight is just ready. I mean, you're basically, these fights are ready to break out at any moment in time. Because that's just kind of the nature of the beast um, in all, all reality, right? Um, when you talk about gambling, people get angry when they lose. They get really, really angry when they lose. And when you're creating a bunch of losers, you don't know which of them, you know, has spent their last dime or their last two dollar, two pounds on this gambling website and, and not one. And you don't know which of them are unreasonable because you're inviting everyone. It's the same idea. You don't know what state these guys are coming from. The, like, I think it's Rhode Island. Let's say Rhode Island has very strict gambling laws for online then yeah then somebody buys a ticket from rhode island you don't think very much of it but now you're in trouble with the state of rhode island so i do think that in terms of um the gambling and all this stuff and the raffles it's just like if you are in luxury watch brand like i'm not in that position and I, i'm sure that crm jewelers is doing everything they can to keep their staff which is mostly their family employed during pretty difficult times, but the times will get more difficult and a choice will have to be made. The choice is kind of simple. Are you going to choose uh, to kind of hold up that standard or are you going to choose to, um, you know, you're going to choose to do raffles, which is, again, uh, not that standard in my personal opinion, right? It's interesting, um, the gray market, um, it is interesting the gray market is again turning to raffles, which is something that Anthony really loved doing. And, you know, whatever you say he is, he is definitely a 
influencer in the gray market space. Absolutely, he is. Whatever he does, he basically, people copy him. And he is telling people, hey, do raffles. And they did raffles. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's kind of crazy, right? Um, one thing I will say, and one thing that I, I think I should say here, is that there is the, op for Anthony specifically, there is the idea that these are fake raffles. That these winners were never really chosen, and he's busy, and he's sick now, and um, that's different from the CRM jewelers doing it very publicly on live stream, as opposed to Anthony kind of doing it privately and picking winners. Uh, everything that Anthony has done has been done in a very shady way. There is a so I'm not saying raffles are good. I'm saying raffles are bad. But if you had to do raffles, I think the CRM jeweler's way of doing them is significantly better than the way that Anthony did them. But I think raffles in general you should not do, especially if you're selling high end watches. Um, and I understand you're giving the opportunity of someone the you know opportunity of a lifetime. But let's not kind of sugarcoat it. You're doing it to make money, right? You're hoping that you're going to make much more money than the watch is worth, and then you keep the delta. That's gambling in a nutshell. The customer never wins when they're at the casino, and the customer never wins in a raffle. My opinions. Anyway, uh, the customer is always going to lose in a gray market. That's basically, you can take my word for it. You can quote me that. That is my motto, what motif or whatever. The customer in a gray market will always come last. Hi, <laughs> guys.